Hi, this is Noura Fatih from Big Boss 9. Uh, you're listening to me on letsthinkaloud.com with Himani. Thanks. So Nora, how do you feel about your elimination? Oh, I'm feeling good about it. I really expected I'd be eliminated, so it's not quite a shocker. But I'm happy because I knew when I got in the house that I'm only going to be there for a short period of time. Um, and I knew I wasn't going to <clears throat> compete to get to the finale. That wasn't the point of me being in the house. Um, but the point was just to use it as a platform and um, showcase my skills and my presence in the industry. Um, and I did that, so yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Did you have a strategy when you went inside the house? Um, you know what, honestly, I didn't have a strategy, but when uh, I went in the house, I kind of realized that everybody had a strategy, and that's the only way to play the game. Uh, mm-hmm. So, yeah, then when I went in the house, I started figuring out how what you need to be doing. Lovely. And did Prince figure in that? Um, okay, so basically, what happened was, when I went in the house, <clears throat> obviously, um, I wasn't really sure of the format is to get as much footage as possible. I probably would know that. And uh, most of the things people would do would uh, be fighting, controversy, con- confrontation, all that. So I wasn't sure what's the best way to do that. Um, <clears throat> obviously, after a few days, just watching everybody, I realized the only best way to get footage is to fight. Basically, my strategy was, okay, so I'm, I'm late in the show. I've just come in. I don't have much of a history with the contestants in the house, so what do you fight about? So my only strategy was to find out who's talking shit about me, who's getting personal, and then fight about that. So that was my strategy. Now what happened with me and <laughs> that details, if you know what I mean, because um, it, we, we, quite, we were quite fond of each other, um, and we gave each other a lot of attention, and there was a liking, I mean, I, I did like him, and he did like me. Obviously, in the end, there was a different announcement that was made when I was on stage, but Prior to that, whatever happened in the house um, was actually uh, his decision and my decision to get close and, um, you know, to be friends and all. When I went in, I, the first few days, I didn't really uh, try anything with him. I didn't really give him much attention, but he was more inclined towards me. He did trust me in the show. I don't know what was shown in the, in the episode, but whatever happened in the house, he was fond of me, he was attracted to me, and he did chase me. And I did allow it because he was quite nice to me. Very supportive in the house. He was very, very sweet to me. And I think when you're in an environment like Big Boss, uh, you need someone to support you. You need someone uh, to give you time and um, just be there for you. You know, it's not a good right. thing to be alone in a house like Big Boss. And he, he did provide that for me. And we did get along a lot. And we, you know, we had our moments where we, we talked about things that bothered him and that bothered me about people in the house and other people's strategies and stuff like that. I know people thought that um, maybe it's fake and maybe I'm using him. But I mean, he's an adult, you know, he's a grown man, he has a, a mind of his own. If he felt that way, he would have uh, stayed away from me. He would have played his own cards, um, but he didn't. He was, um, you know, he was really attracted to me, he spent a lot of time with me, and he made it very apparent. Um, and, you know what, if I didn't gel with him and there wasn't a connectivity, I wouldn't be able to take something for four weeks with someone if I wasn't, if I didn't really like them and I didn't, weren't, wasn't really inclined towards them. Um, obviously in the show we never said that we are a couple, we never said we are in a relationship, we never ever announced something like that. And I stayed very true to how I felt, I did like him, I did have feelings, I do like him, I have feelings for him. And I mm-hmm. said that um, in the house, I made it clear, but I also said that I don't know what's going to happen with us. So I, I acknowledged that and I said you know, obviously we'll have to be outside of Big Boss House and see each other in different situations in order to make a large leap towards a relationship or even, you know, couples. Um, And he acknowledged that and he said, yeah, of course, definitely, I agree with you. Um, And yeah, I mean, definitely we were not in a relationship, we were not a couple, but we did like each other and we liked spending time with each other, you know. Lovely. So you definitely look forward to being in touch with him once he's out. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, everyone keeps asking if we're going to be friends outside the house, 100%. I mean, I'm, I'm in touch with his family. They're so sweet. He's been so good to me. And he, you know, he's just a sweet boy because we're a really good family. And I definitely am um, looking forward for him, Kishwar, to come out of the house and we'll all chill and have a good time. Um, but relationship-wise, I don't know what's going to happen to be friends. Um, Brilliant. Nora, tell us about your Bollywood plans or your, basically your plans in the entertainment industry. How do you plan to take it ahead from here? Well, honestly, um, I don't know because prior to Big Boss, I was already doing films in right. and in, in Hindi um, and most of these work come last minute you know what I mean I, I don't plan these sometimes I go I give an audition and literally a few weeks before the shoe I get signed in for something um, so at the moment um, whatever my point was is to go into the show 
uh, show my skills, my talent, dance, speak Hindi, do this, do that, be able to show my screen presence. Um, and from there, I think uh, things will be a bit easier for me because um, the main point was, oh, will she be able to speak Hindi? Um, will she have a nice screen presence? So, I mean, I got that out of the way. I've been getting a lot of good feedback from people in the industry about my presence in the show. Um, I am in, in touch with some people in the South, with some South films at the moment. And uh, we're in talks right now. Nothing is concrete yet. I do have a couple of things releasing this year. Um, a song in John Abraham's film. I have uh, my film, which I did with Sanjay Surya, the lead, which is releasing this year. So some things I, which I've already shot for will be releasing this year. Um, but I'm looking forward to doing another reality show. So let's see, hopefully, with colors. Oh, lovely. And yeah. Yes, I have to mention, you do dance fabulously. Like, it is a dream Thank to watch you dance. Oh my God, the way you move, whatever you move, oh my God, it is mind-blowing. I don't know how you do that, but however you do oh, it, it just so looks fabulous. Oh, I haven't even seen any of the episodes yet, especially the ones where I've danced. So I'm hoping I did look good. But I'm hoping I did good. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my God, you should see the, you should see the episode, the, definitely the New Year episode where you dance. And I think oh, one of your with good tea. Yes, 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 with good tea. Yeah, and especially the one. initial episodes where you were dancing as well in your pink pajamas. Oh, oh. <laughs> thanks. So I'm really glad you guys like that. I mean, you know what? To be honest with you, when you go into a show like this, now I understand reality TV. And when I went in, I was like lost to go. I didn't know what the hell is going on. I didn't know what to do. And I would see like people like Priya. And you know, Mandana and all these people do is like such random things, you know, like start fights and and I'm and I would be like, why are they doing so much? why are they putting so much effort? And and sometimes people would fight over the most stupidest things. But in real life you would never fight about those things. You know, right. you wouldn't even bat an eyelid. And then I realized that that's just how it is. And and, and the situation they put you in, like we barely eat. You know what I mean? We're always so hungry. And mm. you only you only have breakfast and even in breakfast there's you know, there's just the basics. And dinner, which happens really late at night. So in between breakfast and dinner, you're starving to death. And the tasks they give you last for 24 hours, sometimes 48 hours, and you go two, three days without sleeping and eating. So they put you under these situations where you just fight like, like crazy for no reason. I think your stay in the house was short night because one, you did the task fabulously. Two, you danced like oh, a dream. Right. I think the way yeah. you went about in the task, you're like this pretty strong girl, aren't you? Oh, I'm so glad it looked like that because you yeah. know I was really serious about the task and that was one of my favorite parts of the show. I used to wait for Monday and Tuesday to come because I'm like, I just want to do a task. I'm glad you've seen all this. It's so nice. I'm I've so seen happy. every single episode. I don't have missed out even a single episode. And is I'm there anybody so you're rooting for? Apart I'm from Prince. For Prince. No, apart from him. Oh, apart from Prince. Kishwar. Kishwar, 100%. 100%. Apart from Kishwar, who comes third? Uh, I don't know. It's really difficult. It could be mm. It could be Rochelle. It could be Priya. I mean, Priya, you know, she's playing the game right because she's got right. her experience from Big Brother. Um, but that's hard to say. But I can say for sure I bet my money on Kishwar and Prince. 100%. Oh. Perfect. Thank you so much, Nora. You're a darling. Thank, Thank you, you so much.